little bit of spinning and anybody that spins that has a um, spinning wheel that uses these plastic rubbery uh, drive bands will have this problem and what has happened is over the time you can see one has stretched out I have a new drive band here okay but I'm going to take today and show you how to make do with the old drive band until because these normally have to be ordered a lot of places don't have a supply area but I like to do mine and then um, once I do it I like to let it set up for a, a while so all right you're going to need super glue your old drive band a piece of wax paper something to cut on a knife and baking soda baking soda not baking powder I keep mine in these I buy it in bulk and then keep it in these you can poke holes in it and it freshens your fridge or whatever don't care that's not what we're covering today so what you're going to do is you're going to feel along here and if you're looking I'll show you what to look for you actually can feel it better than you can see it this right here see this dark spot that is where it's joined and it'll be rough you can actually feel it so we're going to cut that and it's just trial and error just don't get it too short you always want it a little long i'm going to guess to take out about an inch maybe okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to you don't want a bunch of these seams so you work right where the same seam is so i'm going to cut this and yeah take out about that much okay so then i'm going to put my wax paper down here let me get the good drive band out of the way all right so the first thing that we're going to do oops is catch the drive band all right there we go all right so you're essentially making a gasket now i'm hoping that this is still good glue here may have to cut the tip Oop, there it is okay so I'm gonna put some glue on here all right and I know you think it's as simple as super gluing it together but there's one more step it's not coming out Great. just in time for the video right so I'm going to now we have it okay so I'm gonna put some on there. I'm going to stick it to here. And now, for the magic part, if I can get it to stick where I want it. You want me to sprinkle? Yes. Would you please? Okay, I've got it. Hang on, wait till I. Go ahead. Once you get it all lined up, you just sprinkle it on. Come on, cover the whole thing, dude. Okay, you're sprinkling. Cover the whole thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, much better. Okay. So then, you have it joined. Ta-da! I like to let mine sit a few days. Um, if you can use a gel, it's better. But make sure that you get it on there. Um, just so you know that once I say it's on there, it's on there. I don't want to pull on it until it's really good and set up, but I'll give you just an idea. Okay, so here is my uh, super glue. And if you watch this, you'll see why I say it's set up nice and hard. And it's set. So. Okay, so RJ isn't here and I'm trying to show you. This is the band that we just fixed. You can tell because here is the other one. And it's lighter in color because it's not as old. Um, we have wood burning stoves so things react to it. But this is the same one and it is holding up. There's our repair right there. And it is good to go. So there you go, how to repair your drive band. And you don't have to shorten it if it happens to break for another reason. This method works for just about anything. Just make sure you do it on wax paper so that you can peel it right off. So, there you go. Fixing a drive band.